Hi, welcome to Delish. In this video, we will be showing you the restaurant interface where you will be receiving, confirming, editing, and completing orders, as well as sending reports and editing prices and menu items. The first thing we're gonna have you do is open up the Star Webprint app, which runs Delish. You're gonna have a little screen pop up ensuring you're at the latest app version. Once you open it, you'll see the open order screen. You're going to have the open order flash and ring on your screen. And you're going to see the default time up in the corner at 15 minutes. Now, if you need to change that for all incoming orders, you can. So what you will do is look at this order. If that order is in fact going to take you 15 minutes, you're going to go ahead and confirm it. You see the customer's info, name, phone number, and the order. So once you confirm it, you go back to the open order screen. And we're going to go ahead and go back into this order. And you see you have options right there for edit order, cancel, pick up ready, and complete. So this order had extra cheese as a message. So we're going to go ahead and type extra cheese. And if we need to, we can adjust the price from this screen. So we're going to go ahead and update this order and it will send an email notification to the customer. If we need to update the time, we can update the time as well. And now we're going to go back and it still goes to your open orders. You also have a closed order screen that can be reached by tapping the arrows next to closed and open orders. Now, once this order is complete, we'll come over and we'll hit pick up ready. If the order reaches the time limit and you don't select pick up ready, the order will automatically go to pick up ready and it will show up like this on the screen where it needs to be completed either at the end of the day or a couple hours after the customer has finished and received their food. The reason why you want to wait to complete the order is because you can still edit the order, edit it by items or the subtotal and do adjustments. Once you complete it, you can no longer edit the order. So once it's completed, it'll go to closed orders. And now if we wanted to do any edits, we would not be able to, we would only be able to do a refund. And that is your order screen. In this portion of the video, I will be showing you the settings and the options of Delish, starting with sales report. In this tab, you can select a date range, anywhere from a day to a week to a month and send a report to the owner's email that's on file. The email is provided by the restaurant. In menu management, the restaurant is able to adjust the price and activate and deactivate items. We do the initial menu upload along with all the categories, items, and the pictures provided by the restaurant. You can tap an item and adjust the price Then you can save it. To deactivate an item, you would slide the active toggle off. And doing that will highlight the item in gray to remind you to come back and turn it on later. In business state, you can turn off and on the delivery and the pickup function. The restaurant is set to a timer, so business will only receive orders when the restaurant is open up till when they close if they need to turn off and on the delivery and pickup function they can do so in the screen lastly in app setting you can turn on and off the sound you can adjust it to automatically go back to the order list after confirming the order and you can select the number of copies you want printed for the customer and the kitchen receipt, along with a few other options.